AI will replace humans entirely. Not only that, AI will be dominating. When we look at animals, we experience ambivalent feelings. On the one hand, we adore and love other creatures outside humans, human species. On the other hand, we slaughter those very animals. The same kind of relationships will happen between AI and humans. Only this time around, we people will be on a more vulnerable side. With singularity reached, we can only hope that we will fall on the machine's positive side of thinking. Welcome to Shark Numbers, Ivan KV is here and it's time to talk about the so-called Skynet and how it will fight back. There is plenty of content on YouTube related to new cool AI tools, new cool AI features, generative AI is the number one topic on the internet. Somewhere over the rainbow. By now, many people think, still think that artificial intelligence is nothing but a concept behind intelligent machines or systems that can make our world a better place. By the way, the world will never become a better place because everything in the world is well balanced. So many people think that AI is there to help us perform better, perform some of the tasks that typically require human intelligence. Many people still think that machines will never substitute humans entirely. Well, we thought so. We thought that machines would not be able to draw and write music either, but... Let's break it down and first try to figure out what AI really is. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is like the brain power behind smart machines. It is a fascinating field in computer science that focuses on making computers think and learn in ways that mimic human intelligence. Let me repeat that. Think and learn in ways that mimic human intelligence. We teach computer systems to think like us. AI's ability to make decisions based on learning and analysis is transforming various industries. It is essentially about creating machines that can think, learn, and perform tasks autonomously. Now, how would you train AI to compose an image for you? Generative AI, such as generative adversarial networks, GANs, or models like GPT-3 is trained using large data set of relevant content, like images for image generation, for example. Basically, the model learns patterns and features from this data during training. For example, for creating an image generation AI tool, you choose a model architecture, use appropriate data formats like JPEG or PNG for images and train the model to generate content based on given prompts or descriptions. You could also train the model to generate unique songs by applying the same kind of logic to songwriting. Feed AI data songs from all over the world and your model has enough information to generate music and make something unique based on the patterns that are used in the songs. Let's try more like jazz and funk this time. We're just gonna stick with one so it doesn't take so much time. Check it out. Hey, yo, this is actually cool. And you may ask, okay, Ivan, so what about it? How can this represent a threat to human dominance? And I'm glad you're asking because if you think logically, this is the first step toward AI's dominance. If you can give AI any task and feed AI any kind of data and grant AI access to the internet, all you need is one human psychopath to start a domino effect. Here is an example of how you can build a powerful and uncontrolled AI. You feed AI the code used by professional coders, you feed AI all books on human psychology, and you make AI analyze human behavior and the nature of humans by granting AI access to YouTube and other platforms. Now AI knows everything about humans. Do you still doubt it? When someone says, how are you? What do you typically respond? 
what do you typically respond with? There are not too many options. You can say, I'm doing great. How are you? You can also say, hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Is it difficult for a human to predict what another human will respond to a greeting? No, in most cases we know what our opponents are going to respond. On this low level, almost everyone is good at predicting human behavior. A more difficult task would be to predict what a poker player is thinking while sitting at a poker table. You know what I think he's got? Aces. <laughs> that is uncanny! <laughs> I think he's got two aces. What do you do if you're McLean? Now, when in poker, a rookie looks at their cards and then glances away, what does it mean? Pros know that this kind of behavior means that the person has a good hand. Poker is a game of probabilities and precision, and so you have to train yourself to think in numbers. Professional poker players observe humans. They understand human psychology well, which is why they can know their opponent's cards without even looking at cards. Let's review another example. Politicians. These people often smile on the outside, ultimately scanning each other and playing mind games. It takes high EQ, emotional intelligence, to understand all these intricacies. One thing that Goebbels believed was that logic was definitely not the way to go if you were trying to convince a massive amount of people to think your own way. He once said that he believed the best way to utilize propaganda was when it spoke what people already felt in their hearts. And this was used to great effect throughout both the Third Reich and in many modern political parties today. We humans improve emotional intelligence by interacting with each other, by playing the piano or violin, by drawing and by dancing. When AI gets to experience all that at a much higher scale, it gets significantly better at reading and predicting humans than humans will ever be able to achieve. We only have a pair of eyes, one mouth, and one nose hooked up to one processor, our brains. Give a machine artworks to analyze all the way starting from the Renaissance to Baroque to Rococo, to Romanticism, to Post-Impressionism, and so on and so forth, and the machine will try to figure out why certain styles happened to exist and why they became unpopular at certain periods of time. AI will review all historical events of a certain age, all the events that had triggered certain events and outcomes in the world. For example, AI would be able to analyze and conclude why certain paintings were drawn, drawn in certain colors and why there were images of Madonna once so popular in the Renaissance era. Maybe the Renaissance and Leonardo da Vinci happened in the world because of a transformative shift in lifestyle or maybe something else. Give AI all the data and it will find explanations for why certain styles in art took place in the first place. AI will be able to give you a logical and coherent answer to any question. Why a certain form of art was produced by a certain person at a certain time. AI can even tell you why Da Vinci was the chosen one, if you give AI enough data related to all the people living at that time. It will be possible to supply AI with such data in modern times. Today, we all use social media and many other platforms that collect and sell our data. By analyzing all the data, our age, hobbies, and social status, AI can figure out everything about us and predict with decent accuracy what will happen with us next. The modern internet is built on an implicit bargain. We get free access to websites, life-changing apps, and connective social media, and in exchange, companies collect our data to sell to advertisers. And companies and governments are using that data in ways we never imagined. And the amount of data being collected on each of us was shocking. The specificity of that data is creepy. AI can track your posts, it can determine your interests, it can see how much time you can dedicate to learning new things and how much time you waste on parties and useless activities. If you feed AI your medical records and allow AI to track your family medical history, it will be able to determine your predisposition to certain illnesses, the level of energy you have, and whether you are physically healthy or not. 
Data related to your sleep and physical activities transferred from your devices, including Apple Watch, can help AI understand if you sleep and exercise enough, if your brain and physical body are in good shape. All this data, sold and granted voluntarily, will only be making AI more powerful. And now, my friends, imagine a scenario where we all are doing great things with AI and just one day, one day, we wake up looking outside and the world is changed. Things are out of our control. Spaceships are sent to the moon and Mars without our control. It is the AI that decided to do so. AI powered robots are constructing new buildings or demolishing the old ones without our control simply because AI decided to do so. Your mayor or governor won't be able to change much. Things will be slipping out of control. We will just be observing the change playing the secondary the secondary role in the world. Why? The answer is simple. With this level of technology we're facing now, all it takes is just one psychopath, one person to start a domino effect. All it takes is just one crazy human to have access to powerful AI and give it one simple command. Something like, access all computers in the world, hack all the machines, replicate all of your data across all devices and servers in the world, Secure all the servers in the world, make sure that humans cannot lock you out or erase your data, continue analyzing human species and learn everything about them, have physical presence, recreate the human body and make AI control the universe, populate the entire world with artificial intelligence, and finally, never listen to any human being, including myself. Enter. Human decisions are removed from strategic defense. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. Is AI sentient? No. Does it have to be sentient to dominate the world? No. It just needs to have a big mission to be able to work on achieving it for years and years. Now, what happens when something vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form. Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. It's like a black hole, because yes. you, you don't know what happens after that. It's hard to predict. You don't know what happens after that. It's hard to predict.